Yo, what's going on guys, Matthew Vids here, coming at you guys with a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Now, as you guys can probably see by the gameplay on the screen, this is a bit of a different video to what I'd usually upload, I guess, on this channel. But basically, I'm just going to be having some scooter, um, I guess, GoPro footage playing in the background as I do a voiceover about a little story that happened around about two weeks ago. By the way, I'd love to hear your guys' suggestions on like the way this video turns out. It's the first time I've used like my GoPro and my scooter and doing like a vlog kind of voiceover over the top. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think and also drop it a like if you find this interesting. But you guys might be asking like why have I chosen to have scooter um, footage in the background of this video and the main reason is just because it's very, very, very relevant to the story that I want to be sharing with you guys today. It's about a little incident that almost happened around about two weeks ago. But before I get into that little story, I'm just going to take a second to say sorry for the lack of uploads so far these holidays. I know I did say around two weeks ago in my last video that I uploaded that I'd be hoping to upload a lot more regularly in these holidays. But obviously that just hasn't worked out. I've been very busy um, volunteering doing sound at a holiday program for the last five days. It's now Sunday of the first week and now, so I should be a lot more free um, the second week of these holidays. So expect some more content hopefully. I actually did end up recording um, some zombies gameplay of that new zombies map that came out um, actually on the day the DLC came out but I've just been so busy I hadn't have time to edit it and upload it on that day and once it got like four days after then I was like nah it's not worth uploading it. I could have got it up on that first day so I'm pretty pissed off I didn't do that to be honest because it's actually a pretty cool zombies map. It's one of my favourite BO3 zombies maps so far. So um, let me know in the comments if you still want me to do like a walkthrough or a live stream on it or something because I'm still keen to hopefully get some gameplay up but I was going to do like my first run through the game but I think it's a little bit late to I guess be uploading that five days after the DLCs come out. So hopefully you guys have been having a pretty chilled holiday so far. I've been pretty busy the first week but hopefully this week onwards I should be able to relax a little bit. Epic Plan's coming up this Saturday, so if you guys want to check out information for that, I'm going to chuck that in the description of this video, just because I helped to run it, and I think it's a pretty cool event if you guys are into gaming. It's a 12 hour LAN party at um, Bethlehem Baptist Church, so if you guys are, I guess, into that stuff, then check out the link in the description below. Also, a lot of progress has been made between um, that last room tour kind of video with nothing moved into up to now. Um, I've obviously now moved in. Um, I didn't really want to share this whole setup in that video. I know a couple of you guys got a pretty um, got pretty upset about that, I guess, because you wanted to see the full video straight away, like the full room. That's what I was trying to say. But it's not finished, and it's still nowhere near finished. I've still got to get the wall painted, it's been plastered, it's got power and all that as well now. I've got a couch, um, I'm making steady progress, I've got more drawers and stuff like that, but I'm still going to be at least a month away from sharing the whole room with you guys. I still want to invest in getting some sick lighting and I'm still not sure if my desk is going to be staying here, so I want to try and make it look like legit for the video. I don't want it to like come out the video and then like a couple weeks later just be like, oh sorry guys I've changed it again and make another video called <laughs> 2016 room setup hashtag 2 or something like that like that's just going to be a waste of time for you and myself also if you guys are wondering what camera I'm filming this um, scooter footage on it's um, the GoPro Hero Plus um, it's one of the lower end GoPros um, I bought it for about $260 I believe it still shoots in 1080p 60 frames as you guys can see from the YouTube quality settings but I think it's a pretty decent camera for that price and it definitely gets the job done for what I need it for. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this camera, there will be a link also down in the description if you want to have a look into the specs more in depth I guess. And yeah, I'm also just kind of plugging in a Mighty Ape ad as well. Anyway, it's probably about time that I start getting into the actual story of the video as I keep cruising around these Bethlehem streets. But um, basically it was two or three weeks ago it was a Thursday I believe after school I just like met up with a couple of BC friends at Countdown Bethlehem um, after school because I scooted all the way from Poise back to Bethlehem which is which is the area I live in in case you didn't know and we'd already like just got some random food and stuff and 
they ended up wanting to go to the BC gym and I didn't feel like going, I guess. I've been since, even though I don't go to BC, which is, um, you know, pretty cheeky. But I still decided to like go to BC with them just to go for a little hoon on the scooter, I guess. This um, footage actually isn't from that day. I've just gone for a little drive today just to get some footage for you fellas. So anyway, I'm on the way back from BC, um, back to my house in Bethlehem, which is, you know, probably about a 10, 5, 10, 15 minute drive at the most in bad traffic. Um, I'm cruising along a 50 km per hour road. It is raining by the way guys, so that makes a massive difference when you're on a scooter is the weather conditions. Like, that's pretty much what changes any situation on a bike or motorbike or a scooter, whatever because that just changes the whole environment around you, especially because it's so immobile to just fall off and crash in the rain compared to in a car. It's a lot easier to um, control traction in a car, I believe. And scooters and stuff is definitely more dangerous in my personal experience. So it's raining pretty damn hard as I'm scootering home um, from BC. Um, I'm in my school uniform still and it's just soaked all the way through, like, um, it's a yuck feeling, I know. So like I'm saying, I'm going in, I'm going about 50, 55, maybe 60 um, along the road. And I'm not tailgating this car or anything, but I guess I'm a little bit close behind a ute in front of me. It's not like, I would have still been at least two seconds behind the car in front of me, but like, I guess I, that's the only thing I can kind of give the other driver who almost hits me later on. So I'm following this car along anyway, and um, the car in front of me decides to pull left into Kmart, um, which is in the town centre around the corner from my house. So it goes, indicates, does everything it's supposed to do properly, pulls in there. I go to go around the back of the car, and that is when the problem occurs because the dickhead driver that was in the car pulling out of the Kmart, um, I guess, road onto the main road didn't decide to look my way at all he just saw the car in front of me turning in it was already turned in by the way like I wasn't going on the wrong side of the road or anything so I go um, past the car that's just pulled in and the car that's coming out of the road straight up just rolls out in front of me he's easily taking up the whole lane he's turning right by the way so he's crossing my lane and going the other way to where I've like he's pretty much going the way I've just come so he just rolls out straight in front of me and this is the first time I've ever kind of been close to crashing so I didn't really know how to react properly like looking back at it now I probably could have reacted a little bit um, faster and maybe a little bit more efficiently so I basically waited a little bit like I took my hand off the throttle obviously so I started slowing down but like I did not expect him to keep rolling like he could have easily seen me he just kept looking the other way he looked like he's about 50 so there's not really a good excuse for him to not look both ways like he should be an experienced driver by that age he keeps looking that way rolling out in front of me and i'm just like oh shit like so i start to really slam on the brakes it's still pissing down the rain slam on the back brake and skid around the front of the car like i was probably about 0.5 meters away from hitting the front of his car and he didn't make any effort to slow down at all he just kept rolling so i had to skid on the other side of the road to avoid um, getting hit by the car pretty much and we all know how it would end if a scooter gets hit by a car or even if the car gets hit by a scooter the scooter rider always comes off second best like i'm actually just coming up to the road that he was pulling out of up here so came out on the left there go straight through this roundabout and i was coming from the right side of the road going straight now and the car was in that white car where that white car is right now pulling out right um, and he just rolled out and I had to go on the other side of the road to go this way I'm going now so yeah it really it really shook me up like I, I was the, like milliseconds away from just ditching the scooter and sliding off because I honestly thought that I was going to wreck my scooter and possibly my own self as well but that's basically the story for today guys hopefully you enjoyed um, I know I'm not the best like descriptive person at telling stories um, I'm working on it though so hopefully I do keep um, I guess gaining an experience I could say so yeah let me know down in the description if you guys like these sort of like moto vlogs I guess you could say um, I know that my mic wasn't like in my helmet like some moto vloggers do 
Um, I would be really keen to do that in the future though because I've only currently got a 50cc scooter which I'm actually going to be selling hopefully very soon because I'm going for my restricted in the next coming days. I'm not going to say what day. So look out for a new car video possibly maybe this week or next week if everything goes to plan. And yeah, if I ever get a motorbike which I am planning to do in the future once I get my full car license. I would definitely invest some money into getting like a proper motor vlogging setup so I have like a mic built into my helmet and I can actually just talk as I ride instead of doing voiceovers like this one here. So yeah, there's lots of opportunities on the way guys. I've got a lot of videos actually planned to do, I just need to get around to doing them now. I've got some more spare time. Um, so yeah, that's going to round up the video. Like, subscribe, thanks for all the support even though I haven't been uploading in the last two weeks. I've still gained subscribers and obviously views. And yeah, let's try break 10 likes on this video guys and I'll be super pumped for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.